Hey everybody, what's up? This is Ghost Rider from the radio room at the home QTH. Well, what I've got in front of me here tonight is an FTM 100D by Yesu. Dual band, 2 meter, 70 centimeter mobile radio. This is the control head. And there's the, uh, the base unit. I want to talk about the new features that are available to you on this radio as well as two other radios, the FT2D handheld and the FTM 400 mobile rig that allow for personal digital node interaction with Yesu's Wires X system. So first thing, this is not new, Wires X or Wires 2 as it used to be called, it's been around since Oh, at least probably the early 90s. And with the advent of more and more internet technology and faster data speeds um, and the new Wires X system, Yesu has now made it capable that you can take these three different radios and without another interface, such as their HRI 200, you can correct, connect directly to your computer and get into the wires x system uh, just with your pc and an internet connection so what is wire wires x it's a yesu proprietary uh internet linking system basically voice over ip for ham radio operators and wires is an acronym that stands for wide coverage internet repeater enhancement system and it's a mode it's not rf only it is connected to the internet, which a lot of folks don't like, but it's just another tool in the amateur radio operator's toolbox to be able to communicate and uh, to make contacts. So just think of it like that. Um, let's just dig in. So what are you gonna need to do? Let's just go over the basic steps. First of all, you're gonna wanna get on your computer and you're gonna want to go to search Yesu Wires X and go to the Wires X site, and you're going to want to register for a digital ID. So you'll have to create a username and password, and you'll have to enter the digital ID of your radio. That can be found by going through the menu settings on your particular radio, and it will be, I believe it's a five digit alphanumeric number specific to your radio. When you register on the Yesu Wires X website, it'll ask you for that information, your call sign, your location. You submit that, and that'll take one to two days to process, and they will send you an, a confirmation email back that will have your node ID as well as a uh, code for you to enter in to the software. So that's the first thing you need to do is register for a digital node station. And like I said, one to two business days to do that. So you might as well go ahead and get that, uh, get that going to start with. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is for whichever radio you have, or maybe you have several radios, you want to go to the ASU website and go to the particular page for that radio. Here we have the FTM 100 radio and under each radio you've got the files tab and under the files tab you want to make sure you go and grab for your specific radio the latest firmware updates and if you're in the u.s make sure you pick the usa version and in that firmware update you'll have to uh, make several sub updates such as the main the display and the dsp three different uh, packages you need to update up upload to your radio that's all in the instructions with the uh, the downloads once you get that done you've got the latest firmware you want to grab the interface cable which for the ftm 100 is the scu 20 get it right side up here scu 20 which allows you to connect to the data port on the back of the radio and to the usb port on the computer it might be the same cable for the FTM 400 and there's a different cable for the FT2D handheld. 
Uh, so you want to grab that and install the driver first. Don't connect the cable. Install the driver first. It's also on the ASU website. Connect the cable. Make sure it recognizes the uh, cable. Then you're ready to connect it to your radio. So once you've um, got that done, you want to go to the ASU software page for the HRI 200. And under that, you will have also files tab and you will find the latest version of the PC software for Wires X, which is currently 1.510 at the time of this video. You wanna download that, launch it on your computer. And when you do, the first time you pull it up, you'll get a, uh, a dialog box where you have to enter in the node identification number that Yesu will have emailed you back after you have registered your radio. You'll enter that in with a couple other bits of information, hit submit, it will automatically populate your radio's digital ID and you'll be able to get right into the Wires X main part of the software. Okay, once you've done that, you will connect your radio to your computer using the SCU20. And when you do that, power the radio up. When you do so though, you wanna put it in the PDN mode. And the way you do that is you hold down the, the DX button on the FTM100 anyhow. You wanna hold that down, the radio is still off. And you want to press and hold the power button when it starts to power up, make sure you're still holding down the DX button and then it'll come up and you'll see it'll say PDN for portable digital node and it might say direct or it might not. You just hit the AB button to go between direct mode and what they call HRI mode. That's a different topic. So you wanna be in direct mode, okay? Then you'll have your software launched on the computer and you'll want to, on your radio now, depress the DX button one time. <clears throat> and you'll see the, the Wires X symbol flashing. When it becomes solid, you're connected into the Wires X network. Okay, so we see here we're connected in. FTM100D is now recognized. The last bit of information you need to know are what are the information that's being shown in these two panels on the software. Well, in the upper panel, this is all the individual node stations that are in, in the Wires X system, where they're located. So these are, think of these as individual radios and node stations, and are also digital repeaters, okay? The other part of the window that will populate when you connect are the digital rooms. So if we, this, this is uh, rooms that have multiple, may have multiple users in them at one time. So if I sort by activity here and go to the top, you can see the all Japan CQ room has 204 active members in it. Now, if you're connecting in portable digital node format, you can only connect to a digital room. You see that marked here with the icons. If you try to connect to a digital or analog room or analog only, it won't allow you to connect. That's a topic for a different video. You have to have a couple of other cables to, to go either analog or digital or connect to a, uh, a room that's analog or digital. So we want to connect now to one of these rooms. Let's just try this one. Digital and amateur radio room here. Looks like there's 22 stations in the room. I'm going to right click and hit connect. Let's see if anybody's in there. When you do that, you will get a room information dialog box that'll pop up. It'll just tell you a little bit about the room. You will also get a listing or a panel board of all these station node names that are connected in the room, okay? And that happens for any room that you connect to. 
So we're now connected to this particular room. Now you can either key your radio up now and you will be able to communicate with everybody that's listening on the particular room. And a lot of these rooms are linked into whole repeater systems that cover wide areas of different states. So just be aware of that. You might be uh, QSOing with, you know, 10 repeaters across the state when you go into this particular WireZX uh, node or room. So let's see if we can find some some other room here to connect to. Let's see. Maybe the CQ Canada room. Um, and we have somebody in QSO here. Uh, VE6 VZV 3BF. Okay, I'm going to turn the volume down for a minute, but so you heard a couple of stations in QSO there, and when they're talking to each other, it will light up at the top in the green uh, highlight there, who is who is talking to, you and, to who in the room, so that's how you know um, who's having the QSO, and everybody else in here is listening. So anyway, that's a very, very brief introduction to WireZX Portable digital node particularly for in this case the FTM 100D go check out Yesu's official YouTube site uh, I think their sales manager his name is John Cruck he's got a couple of two or three videos in there where he's answered a lot of questions about this it's pretty helpful also go check out uh, Hosh Nazi on YouTube H-O-S H N A S I. He's got a great video on how to connect up to the WireZX system using the FT2D, which is very helpful. Actually, it's what I used to to get on uh, with the FT2D, and kind of inspired me to do this video. So I know that's very basic, but hopefully it's helpful. Hopefully it gets you on the air with Yesu WireZX 73.